Welcome back to another video. Um, you might be wondering why I'm sat on the end of my bed at this strange angle. Well, today we're doing the play seat bedroom challenge, as the title suggests. It's a stupid video, but I like stupid ideas. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the play seat challenge on the bed and see if I can actually race with the play seat challenge on the bed looking at my screen, which is here. Now, this is mostly for stupidity, but on a slightly more practical and, and perhaps serious note, there are racers out there or would-be racers out there that may only have a, a bedroom. Why is my cat climbing on everything? She's literally on the place. You can just see her up there in the background. Anyway, um, yeah, there, there are people that perhaps only have a bedroom. You know, maybe you're still living at home with your parents and you're thinking, I can't fit a, a racing rig, a cockpit in my bedroom. And, you know, you're, maybe you're stuck on a controller or maybe you've got a desk mounted set up, you know, and, and maybe if this actually works and is usable, this could be a viable option for all you bedroom racers. So I thought, fuck it, let's just, let's just give it a go and see what happens. I haven't tried it. You, I might have to move the camera around as I'm doing it. I don't quite know if it's gonna be in frame or anything. I thought it would just be funny to go from start to finish on camera and just see exactly what happens and whether we can actually race with the play seat challenge on a bed pointing at a 50 inch screen. So without further ado, and after I get the cat off of the play seat challenge, let's get it on the bed and get it set up. I think it's probably better if I take my mic off because it's, it's not wireless and end up being caught and everything. So bear with us two ticks, we'll get this on the bed and then I'll be back. pretty much not a bad angle. You're gonna be able to see me sat in there and see just how much it wobbles around. So let's get the, oh yes, we need the Logitech G hub, um, which I should have on here. Yep, there it is. Logitech G hub uh, fired up and running, otherwise it's not gonna work. Oh, and typically there's an update. I might skip this second, this section, because we've got to wait for an update. Bear with. Oh, another update. I should do this before I start recording. Right, all the updates are done. Logitech G-Hub's done. Uh, the 10 gig update for Dirt Rally is done as well. Uh, the cat's finished having a nap in the play seat, so I'm allowed to get back in and finish this video. So <coughs> let's get in the seat and see exactly what happens. Now I've got the little bar extended out the side there for stability. Um, hopefully my mic won't fall off, Oop, which it almost did whilst I'm doing this, but let's get it open. Well, it hasn't fallen over yet. The mic is about to come off it. There we go. So, now, just to point out, I have a fairly solid mattress. So, your experience may not be the same as mine. <laughs> this just looks ridiculous. Oh, I can already feel we're leaning back, <laughs> we're leaning back a little bit more than normal, I guess, because all my weight's transferred this way, but, doesn't feel like it's gonna fall over. I just feel like I'm taking off a little bit. So <laughs> I suppose you could adjust the steering wheel angle to kind of compensate for this. But, um, oh, and I've got my pedals a little bit far away as well. Oh, well, we'll just, oh no, no, they are too far away. Okay, bear with me. Right, so we're in our somewhat reclined seat. And again, when you push the pedals, you reach back even further, but let's see what happens. It's all just for fun anyway. I'm naturally kind of wanting to hold my body weight up a little bit because I feel like I'm going to tip over. But actually, if I put my head all the way back, we're definitely not going to tip over. Into three 
right into caution don't cut through left i can't say this is the most natural of things i've ever done but i mean it works is the seat moving around a little bit yeah it's a cheap form of motion i suppose that's one way to look at it And in my particular version, I could do with being a touch closer to the TV. Uh, I don't know, actually, no, it's probably all right. It's a 50 inch screen, it's a reasonable, reasonable distance away. But I mean, we're not moving around as much as I expected. And, you know, to be honest, Dirt Rally's a, a game where you quite aggressively steer and, and brake and, and what have you. Where are this little New Zealand track? I'm actually going to say, you know, this isn't terrible. And if you haven't got any other option, you may as well give it a go. The only thing I will say is we are just tipping back a bit more than, than I would like. I'd have to either adjust where the steering wheel is, or another option would be to have a big plank of board that you just keep slotted under your bed, pull that out, stick it on top of the mattress, then put your play seat on, because that would spread the load and it wouldn't it wouldn't tip back so much. Well, I don't, I don't think it would tip back at all, actually, because the load would be completely spread across the board. And as I say, you can just keep that tucked under the bed out of the way. It wouldn't take up any more space in your bedroom should you need to do this. Because, yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely tipping back more than I would like. But does it work? Yes. <laughs> Do I feel a bit stupid? Also, yes. You can see I'm kind of peering over the steering wheel because of this, this recline. Oh, I suppose you, the other thing you could do is adjust the angle of the seat. Yeah, in fact, yeah, if you haven't, if you don't use the plank of wood option, you could literally just bring the seat up a bit more. Because I've got this seat configured for being you know, on a concrete concrete floor under carpet. I haven't got it configured for being on a bed, but yeah, the seat's adjustable, so why not just adjust the seat? Or maybe that and add a board, you know, whatever's easiest. But yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Would I say it's better than desk mount? Probably. Certainly with the addition of a board, I think I'd rather be sat in here than, than at my desk. It feels a more natural seating position. It's one of the things I don't like about wheel stands, to be honest, is the, the, whoop, the seating position just isn't, isn't very natural. This, this play seat sort of seating position, except when I'm tilted back on the bed, feels a lot more natural than what, um, what a wheel stand does, you know, with a desk chair or or a dining table chair or something stuck uh, stuck behind it. In fact, that's a future video I'll be doing because I've got a GT Omega uh, Apex wheel stand here as well. I'm gonna do a direct comparison between that and this play seat. Um, just give you my thoughts on what I think is the better option out of the two. But for today, it's all about the play seat. Oh, where's reverse gone? Oh, I don't seem to have, I don't think I've mapped reverse. No, I haven't. Okay, so we're driving through the bushes. I'm so, there we go, that was it. I'm so close to the end. Yes, I haven't mapped reverse. But yes, today's about the play seat bedroom challenge. I actually now feel like I'm tipping a little bit to the left as well. Um, I think perhaps getting ever closer to falling, falling off the bed. But, um, here we go. Where's that finish line? There it is. So, yeah, conclusions. Does it work? Yes, it does. Do I feel like I'm falling over to the left? Yes, I do. But then I can right myself again. It would definitely be better with a plank, with a board under here, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> to stop it tipping back. But, you know, it's all right. It's a bit of a laugh. I could think of worse ways to race, like using a joypad. Um, anyway, 
for more stupid videos like this, uh, like and subscribe if you fancy it. Thanks very much for watching and uh, take it easy. Have a good day.